everyone to Line All Feeds Podcast. This is episode 58. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Big Gamer. Adam Mark. And we are back. Yeah, we back. Took, took a couple weeks off. We're sickly. We. Nah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like he, was hit. he was hitting hard. Yeah, I was. No, you didn't have to go to the doctor. You know what he said? Common cold. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was no COVID. Well, there was no flu. It was no... Yeah, Anything got, crazy. And I got COVID every year, so I thought it was COVID. No, but, no, but, you know, we're good. We're the good. doc was like, sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, he said, you just, you get overworked by a cold. <laughs> okay. the change of the seasons, gotcha. Yeah, you. I guess so. But it's beautiful out there. It is nice out. Sun's still out, look. You saw the eclipse today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You have those glasses and everything. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but, that's um, why I came here a little late. I was watching the clips yeah. when we <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because um, we had the glass and so we're out there and then it, it was cool. Yeah. And then it was nice. nice. It got a little dark. You know, f- you felt like the <clears throat> like the environment changed. A yeah, bit. it did, right? It was, like, oh, it was a different type of dark. Yeah, you're like, this is out of a movie. Yeah, 100%. But um, oh, cool. also, guys, today, nice start hedging my body art. But next week... What we will be doing is beyond the time scaping mm-hmm. back, all right? And it's juicy. It's juicy. juicy. Also, I saw after beyond the time scape, we might be able to do the damn reincarnation. Cause mm-hmm. still got forty seven chapters right now. Oh. Yeah. So it's like ready. Well, I'm still thinking of <clears throat> doing another new novel. Yeah. But you want to do two hundred chapters of a new novel again, like we did for Split um, of the Heavens? Yeah, cause we have there's this one novel, something immortal. I know you're talking about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the side note, guys. Split in the heavens. I, I, I said it in the review that it gets better the longer it goes. The arc right now is really, really good. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like whatever. Like I think I gave it a seven. Mm-hmm. I think by the end of the novel, this author will make it like an eight and a half. Yeah. Cause he's getting better, and like I personally don't think they're even halfway through the novel. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think he has a lot of more room for growth if he keeps getting better as a writer. Yeah. And, like... I think he's also just, like, kind of writing it as he, go, as he goes. He's just, like, he doesn't have, a, like, a huge plan. I feel like he's just kind of planning each arc. Yeah. But I think, like, now is he's getting to a point where, like, it can expand, like, huge. Yeah. So I hope he does have a plan in the store. And with the way he's been getting better each arc, I feel like he will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, glad for that. So I will say Spring the Heavens has been getting better. It's been... Mm-hmm. Actually, I've been reading every day, two chapters a day. And it's been irking my soul. You've been doing that? Yeah. I've been letting it pile up. No, I've been reading every... And it comes out at midnight. So literally, <laughs> if I'm if it's like 11.15 and I'm about to go to sleep, I'm like, ah, I guess I'll stay up for 45 minutes. <laughs> to read two chapters. Yes, bro. Like, I'm so down bad. <laughs> That's an addiction <laughs> on a different level, bro. I'm so down bad for Spring of the Heavens. And I'm just like... It's because the arc is so crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. And I, like, need to know what happens next. Well, these two chapters a day are killing me. I just need to, like, take a two-week break. I know. No, once the arc's done, yeah. then I'm like, okay, I need to wait, like, a month. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. If I could just wait two months, that'd be great. But I don't know. Like, when I'm, like, really into an arc, I need to know what's happening. And it just irks me. Like, not <laughs> yeah, to I, I understand. That's why I'm, how I'm feeling about... You know, for nine star right now, yeah. I want. I mean, we're gonna get into this. Yeah. We need to get to the ninth heaven, bro. Right, you know what? Let's get into <laughs> it. We're at nine star now, and guys, we have to make an um an official announcement. We're still not at the ninth heaven. All right. I actually we record on Mondays, guys. Around usually around anywhere from four to five thirty p.m. Depends on when I get out of work or come straight here. Um. And I read, and Nine Star comes out three thirty Eastern time. Mm-hmm. I read the three chapters for today, bro. We're still not in the ninth heaven. Mm-hmm. It's trash. We've been talking about getting into the ninth heaven for the last like three podcasts, and that's like five hundred chapters. <laughs> we were talking about it. There's first. There's that first gate that we thought was the gate to the ninth heavens where yeah. we met the saint. But it was just a bridge. That could. It was like its own. It, it was a bridge that became its own world. Yeah. And then we find out that world had another bridge connected to it that was, like, 
where those ancestral like and it's basically like where everyone's like uh lineage stems from yeah so ancestral homes we we get there thinking no that's the end and then we're like i feel like i'm missing one so it was that that first key and then the ancestral homes and then oh yeah I feel like no we are missing one so first it was the um the key and then we got the esoteric spirit world ones like the 18 worlds or was that after the I think the... Yeah, it was like that. Those came before... The Ancestral Homes, right? Yeah. So there was that first bridge, and then we got the Esoteric Spirit Worlds that were like the 18 worlds that had all like... They had a couple saints in there. And so we thought, okay, this was like the final bridge to the ninth heaven. Yeah, it's like all all of this... All these worlds are coming... Are showing up. They're flooding <clears throat> the main heavens yeah. with Primal Chaos Key. Yeah. And, like, we even saw in one of the worlds when they helped the spirit race. Mm -hmm. And, like, they saw, like, oh, they saw the, the other world. Yeah. Um, they just couldn't get into it yet. Mm -hmm. And then when the um, the Void Flame Lotus came, it sucked all the key, and I was like, this is it. We're yeah. going to ninth heaven. Yeah. And then it didn't happen. We get the Ancestral Home, which <clears throat> was the third place we thought would be the ninth heaven. Yeah, yeah which was. And they even called it the ninth heaven. They called it the world of the ninth heaven. Oh, yeah. While we were there, but it was just, like, very close to the ninth heaven. And so the world of the ninth heaven connects to this, like, tribulation crown that opens the actual gate to the ninth heaven. <laughs> and so then that whole tribulation ground was, like, 150 chapters. Could have been 50. And then finally... Yeah, and there was... It wasn't even... the. You know what the worst part was about right. that? It was when they were um, talking to the the I don't remember the name of the alliance, but it's like like the outcasts of like the ninth heaven, like where he met that uh, phoenix girl. Yeah, I was just like, why are we going she, through this? She got thrown to the side so hard, and she had like twenty five chapters spent on her. I know she's a seven star doyen. And I he, thought that'd be important. And they were throwing some romance in there. Yeah, like a little bit, and they were just like. Yes, no, maybe so. And I was like, just get on with it. And then they go <clears throat> to... The, the fantasy spirit world. Yeah, yeah. fantasy. I, there was two. And this is a cloud. I don't remember. Fantasy one was, I think, for the the beasts. And then and I think... Was it Void? It was Void. Tribula I don't remember what the emo one was. But I know it's like, there are two worlds that link up yeah. at the, when the ninth gate opens. Yeah. And so then we go... Through the tribulation there, we'll talk about that more. And then finally the gate opens. And we thought we'd get to the ninth heaven. No, we have to come back, wait a couple months. And now we're finally going to the ninth heaven. Honestly, I feel like we gotta give this one like 200 chapters, bro. Because they're, they're being ridiculous. <laughs> they're being ridiculous. Yeah, that's why we're also just like, bro, we're not gonna go in there with the low lights. Because it's yeah. just a waste of time. Like, yeah. I mentioned the Phoenix Girl there just because, like, I was trashing on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna mention that whole part of the art because it's pointless. It really was like it doesn't. It didn't add anything later. Yeah, that's what. It's really getting to me when he's up. And guys, I have a gripe that like, my star is getting so bad with the repetitiveness. It's giving me Marshall God of Sewer vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, how many times did we get people coming to the gates? Like, crazy experts coming to the gates that are being like. Super arrogant that Long Chen has to kill one, kill the monkey, to, or kill the chicken to scare the monkey. How many times have we heard that? Because he does it every time they power up. He leaves. He leaves for two days and they show up. And then he he lost to one of the to one of those monkey geniuses who was like a class. seven star doyen. Yeah. And then he's smacking up eight star doyens like it's nothing. I was like, wait. And then they try to explain it off. Well, you just lost with just the dragon power. I was like. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah get out of here. Get out of here with that. But yeah, it was, and like even some of the metaphors, like they're just reusing the metal, the same metaphor too many times. That is getting so repetitive that I was like, I was really getting tired of the frog right. in the well. One. The frog in the well. That one that gets reused so much. Him being like, um, finding himself and like being like undomitable again. Yeah. Because so he's like a coward for some reason. Anyone who reads Nine Star understands this. They're just like. 
because it's happened so many times, I sent the comments and I was like, damn, 150 <laughs> chapters here, <laughs> didn't even go with that and say it yeah. again. And then people are start betting, like, all right, what's the over-under for the next time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so bad that that's how it is now. It doesn't make any sense because they haven't explained why that is. Like, every t- like they try to explain it every time. Like, one, how many times has it actually it happened with On Man? It happened now and it happened... Did it happen with the Sweeping Elder, I think? Yeah, I think so. Like, those those are three main ones, like, I remember. Mm. Honestly, it's like every time he, he grows around, it's like he his worries, he finds out more about the world. So I think he gets re-scared about the world, I guess, is their explanation. Yeah, but he never got scared before. That was, yeah. like, the thing. That's why people are confused. Like, why is he still getting... He knows that, like, the unknown is the unknown. Yeah. And the people keep telling him. And then... Actually, all men happened twice. Uh-huh. I was like, that happened twice? That doesn't make sense. And then... I'm sorry, my voice. So, WrestleMania happened yesterday, so I was screaming. Because <laughs> I watched some friends. Uh, <laughs> so, my voice got messed up. Sorry, sorry. But, um... Honestly, that on Meng one... On Gong, not Meng. Oh, okay. On Gong. Yeah. Uh, she's the one that gave him the gold of gold oh, yeah. Her doing that twice pissed me off, bro. Because I was just like, oh my god. And then Evil Moon said it. When Evil Moon said it, I lost it, bro. Yeah, I was like, me too. That one really, like, triggered me. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Too late. Evil Moon's back. Yeah! Like, that, Evil was, that was sick. He's back. That was that was cool. Cause it, so, when they went to the fantasy spirit world, mm-hmm. that Longshan got teleported to the Dragon Clan mm-hmm. to receive a dragon... You know, a dragon inheritance because mm-hmm. obviously it's a dragon blood. Mm-hmm. Um, and there, that's where he found. Once again, met his, you know, his mortal enemy, Nether Dragon Tianzo. Clearly, that's the new fuck. What? Uh, what's the other guy? Long Eye Ocean. Yeah, it's the new Long Eye Ocean. <laughs> the guy that gets away every yeah. time, he comes back stronger than we finally the last killed him time. this time. Though. I know. Yeah. Not even well, actually, where we first. They fought him. They fought him. He got He escaped. Again. So that was the third time he yes. escaped. And then we just fought him for the fourth time. <laughs> and, and then uh, finally killed him. You know, also, I'm not going to lie. I kind of have a gripe with that. With how he's been... His fights have been going during his tribulations. Because I feel like one thing was that... Before his tribulations... Like... He would be... He would fight peak experts at that round. And he would like... Kind of go toe to toe with a couple of them. And it'd be a hard fight, and then he'd win, right? But I think they're doing something different, though, more around that I'm not enjoying. Is that what was what he's doing is that, like, he's fighting these peak experts, but he doesn't beat them. He, like, fights them in tribulation. He ascends tribulation, and then he murders everybody. So after the tribulation, he just one-shots the world, which makes it, like, I don't know, it doesn't make it as fun when he's fighting peak experts in the tribulation, because, like, they don't actually fight. They're just kind of, like... Waiting for the tribulation to pass, then he kills everybody. I felt like before he used to like kill everybody. And then the tribulation passed. And then the tribulation would be its own thing. Yeah. But now it's like together, and it's making the fights like really weird because they're not like. They're not really important at the beginning, and then when they finally power up, he just one shots everybody. Mm-hmm. So it's like. This wasn't even fun. Like, just the last time he became a world king, I think it was when he got his golden dragon scale, or was that a mortal king? That was Mortal King, I think. Yeah. And you remember, he used the the shout, and he just killed ninety nine percent of the exports. Mm-hmm. And then what happened when he became a World King? Was that in the the Beast place? Yeah. And then I think he did the same thing, didn't he? So it's like the last three tribulation arcs have been like subpar for me, like not the tribulation themselves, but like the fighting around it. You yeah. Because like for the World King, <coughs> the World King one was. With the beast veterans. Yeah. And it was where the 100 million billion beast veterans died to like the something. I forget. 2009 stars. 2009 stars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think that's what happened, yeah. Yeah, that that one was kind of sick. The tribulation was cool. Yeah, but the the fight is not as cool. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because this tribulation was sick. I agree. It came out of nowhere. Tribulation itself was fire. No, but the people around them, I feel like they're just throwing in riffraff. Well, they 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 do always just throwing riffraff, but these guys have been extra riffraff. Yeah, and they hold 
UZ thing because he did. lost to some rando, yeah. and we were just like, oh. I was like, okay, he better be crazy. So I'm gonna try him. Bro, turn into fodder real quick. You know, it's these fights, these tribulation fights have been so ass that they're actually making me like want it how it used to be in the mortal realm where he used to fight the same people like three times and they just escape for a reason and then like but they get stronger each time and then they like have in one uh, like an epic they keep having epic fights until they're dead i feel like that was better than what we're getting now because now i'm getting like five or six big names for an arc but they're just big names for an arc they're just ass after like they were just like nothing and it's just like it's not really making the enemies feel like they're big enemies, you know? Yeah. Like Yu Wang Sheng, I think is his name. Yeah. From the Celestial Race. Like, I didn't know about him before. And he's not... His, he, himself, or his race will not be important after. Mm -mm. So it's like, why did we have to spend so much time on him? You know what I'm saying? And, he, yeah, and he gave Yu Z Feng his loss. I was like, what? You thought he'd be more important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm getting a big, I'm getting a big, big, like, gripe with that. Gripe. Gripe with that. It's not fun. Yeah. So it's like, honestly, the biggest, the best things about this novel are, like, within the last few chapters, when they talk about the nine stars. Yeah, the history. Yeah, because it's like, bro, can we get more history? Yeah, I feel can like... Can we learn more about the past? Because the past is clearly better than the current present. Yeah, that's what they stay talking about. They, they're just like, yeah, problem chaos era, best era. It's like, damn old heads, like, yeah. alright, like, yeah. for real. <laughs> y'all hyping this up, but like, like, I can't get a flashback. 90s basketball, okay. <laughs> well, well, it, I don't have to run the narrative on, I start, we're done with the 90s, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, like, what am I supposed to do? I think, like, the, I think it's better than MGA for sure, Martial Gata Sura. Like, 100% better than MGA. Mm -hmm. Cause the history points are so much better. Oh yeah, because they give you intrigue. Yeah. Because it's just like the way they talk about like the Lord of the Nine Stars and the whole Nine Star. It's so uh, epic. like lineage. You're just like, oh my god, this is crazy. And Marshall got a suit. They don't really have anything like that. But they have to do better. Like Nine Star has to do better in between the history jobs. Yeah. It's like your current timeline, you gotta make it somehow important. It doesn't make sense right now. It's just like. Like, right now, we should be in Ninth Heaven right now fighting, because, um, the last, so right now, the High Firmament Academy, yep. they are, they have a power in Sovereign Heaven, yep. Sovereign Emperor Heaven. Which is the Ninth Heaven. Yep. And, but right now, it's overrun by Devils Beyond the Heavens. That's what they yep. keep saying. Yep. This, is, this is also, like, probably one of the big enemies we'll be yep. fighting at towards the end of the novel. Yep. And... <clears throat> They were saying, like, oh, like, their foundation is being corroded. Because they said, like, their karmic seed, like, it, it was weak. Yeah. And the dean was like, all right, we're just not going to fight because we got to wait for an opportunity now. Because we know talk... it was a long time. Yeah. Because they were talking and they were just, like, they were talking to other powers there. And, you know, they were being arrogant. Yeah. Because everyone knows that the High Firm Academy has deep, deep foundations. Yeah. Um... But they said they sent uh, by Shishu's father back, and he was just like, "Yeah, we're waiting for an opportunity." And they were like, uh, "There's this guy, Long Zanshia." Mm -hmm. And she was like, "My dad." And they're yeah. just like, "Oh, makes and sense." I was like, "Oh yeah," because yeah, yeah. he he he's having epic feats. Like yeah. I'm about to, like, can we follow his dad instead? Yeah. For real. <laughs> Oh, his dad has been having an epic story on the side. <laughs> but he he pulled up. Ninth heaven, he made a clownery of the heavenly uh, desolation long clan. Yeah. That's what they've been saying. He's been clowning them. Yeah. And then he went. Obviously, the life hunter race is a uh, enemy of the wild blood race, and his wife's wild blood member. So he went up, pulled up, got surrounded by three hundred wild gold assassins, which is one of the highest ranks. Yeah. Murdered ninety seven of them. The rest fled like children. Yeah. That's what they're saying. I was like, this is Long Chen. This is time, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, exactly. Now where's this at? Mm -hmm. This guy gets run by 12, you know, experts. 16. 16, and yeah. he's getting clapped. I get the sages, yeah. but he's a divine venerate. Bro, why did I not hear... <coughs> when he got surrounded, I was fully expecting, like, you know, 7-star battle armor, scarlet uh, blood battle armor. Yeah. I was like, yo, fully power up? What's yeah. going on? 
It wasn't crazy. No, it just it was Evil Moon went crazy. Yeah. That fuck, they had put a new name on it. Evil Moon split the heaven slash. Yeah. I was like, all right, all right. I like that one. I was like, that's that's okay, but yeah. why wasn't that with and the rest of your power? Me, excuse me, like since he's never used his full power before, <sighs> it, his a lot of the energy was like spread. It was in control. So yeah. You couldn't kill them all. I was like. Bro, okay. you're, you're telling me just by one point to be like, yo, let me test a few slashes out? Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, man. That don't, that don't make sense. It did a, a few slashes. All right, all right. Well, we're trashing it, but let, let's give you the highlights. The highlights, all right? We find um, an old or a pillar, or an old ruin, I'd say, yeah. of um, the Div Divine Pill Sovereign. Yeah, the Nirvana Palace. Yeah, Nirvana Palace. And we get the seventh volume of the Nirvana Scripture. Yep, and we find out that it's it's like a peak uh, cultivation technique. Yeah. Like, probably like on the same level like the Nine Star Hedman body. Like, pretty close. Yeah. Like, it is its own, like, just with so that... Number one flame technique in, in the, the Nine Heavens Center. Yeah. So, so I was like, that's, that's, that's pretty technique. sick, yeah. And, like, um... That was really cool how they that whole little mini arc of him getting that and like once he him and you the pill fairy yeah King Queen Sion Queen Sion King, Sion. King they, Sion. she also King cultivated the seventh volume and they're both like got a huge power for that Hugh Langer was pretty cool yeah they talked about um it's unique to every person who studies it yeah so they showed how distinct it was between the three of them, which is really cool. Yeah. So they said... Montez is domineering and ruthless. Yep. And he was like, his hands sit, he was doing like Naruto, Naruto speed, like hand yeah. slides, but like Kakashi. Yeah. Like, that one episode when Kakashi was going crazy, yeah. like, that's how I imagined it in my Me head. Me too. And I was just like, damn. Yeah. And like that, uh, the Earth calls him Camel, he, and he was just like looking at, and he like described the cycle of like, it, he was just like, Rebirth, the structure and rebirth, and he was like, "Can one man control such a cycle?" Mm. <laughs> yeah, then um, Pill Fairies was very like soft and gentle, like more. It's more like majestic. Yeah, and then Hugh Lingers was like more natural, yeah, free flowing, because she's, she's like a, a fire spirit. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Um, Earth Cauldron officially became. Um, Longshan officially became the master of it. It's yes. not a masterless item anymore. Yeah, but that was cool. Yeah, and now because of that, he can use, um, what was it that he could do with it now? Was there anything different? No, no, no. The difference was that, um, he, he's going to be hunted down. Yeah. <laughs> they were, because when he became the master of it, it, his manifestation appeared amongst the entire Nine Heavens and Ten Earths, and now everyone knows that. Yeah, that was cool. And sleeping on the other side, and he yeah. was like, Show. Yeah, I was just like, boy, where are these enemies at? And they said, oh, another big part was they said that if Longchan is killed, now because it was a mastered item, that if Longchan is killed, whoever kills him can take control of the Earth Cauldron. So that's probably a plot point, like whoever's trying to kill him. Yeah. And then um, what else happened that was pretty cool? Oh, well, we found out, like, we got a little um, snippet of history about what happened to the Nirvana Palace, so... Oh, yes. It was basically like, you know, a bunch... It was like, like any old <clears throat> palace back in its prime, you yeah. know, flowing with individuals. <laughs> and then, you know, Brahma betrayed the Pill Sovereign. Mm -hmm. and apparently, But they left it in some interesting words. They said that the Pill Sovereign cannot satisfy the people. Like, she couldn't unite yeah. the, the human race. Mm -hmm. So, it indicates... The Lord of the Nine Stars must have died mm -hmm. right when the after he died, like Brahma was like on the train. Yeah, we found out more about Brahma. We know I don't know why Longshan was surprised that he wasn't a divine mentor for some reason. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been knew we've that. been doing with that. So they but they explained his name even more clearly. Yeah, so his name is, yeah, his name is Divine Mentor Brahma because he's um he's a god. He's um, a venerate amongst gods. Yeah, he's a venerate beyond, um, amongst gods, which basically means he's, like, uh, peerless. Yeah. Like, the best of the best within the gods, because so he's a faith cultivator. Yeah, so that means, like, he holds the most faith, and he's the strongest god of gods. So it's yeah. just, like, 
Okay, that's that's a little different than yeah. Know, what we thought. Y'all y'all were leading us on until this moment. Yeah, and so hearing that, um, we can kind of connect that with. I don't know. You didn't read today's chapters. I did not read the last three. Can I talk about it? Yeah. All right. So they talked about um. You you know this. The very last chapter from yesterday was that they talked about the heavenly demon golden monkeys. Yeah. And basically, they talk about how the heavenly demon golden monkeys produce the sovereign, and um, basically, you have to go through sovereign tribulation to become a sovereign. Mm-hmm. So I think they kind of threw that's either like the next cultivation realm after Sage King. Or maybe it's the one beyond that. I'm not sure. I feel like it's probably the one right beyond Sage King. And actually, it might be the one after. It might be like the peak of the realm after. <clears throat> I thought Sovereign was peak. I, that's why I'm thinking. That, so that's all, the Sovereign level might be like, you know how they do the Eternals? The Eternal realm is like Eternal. Oh, uh, Sage, you mean like there's a Sage King. Oh, it's like a... I see what you mean. Yeah, so I think Sovereign might be the peak of the next realm. And basically, they said once you pass your sovereign tribulation, you can become a sovereign of a race. Oh, so maybe that's different than like, like around. Yeah. Who, who knows? But maybe yeah, that's because that sounds like you're just controlling an entire race rather than like your own personal cultivation. Oh, uh, right. Because they talked about how this heavenly golden monkey like reached that that rank. Yeah, because they've been using. Because obviously, we remember sovereigns from back yeah. in and uh, the mortal realm. Mortal realm. Now it's like being used as an actual realm. Because I think Brahma might be at the peak of the next level. Or do you think he's even further beyond? Well, the next level? Like yeah. after Sage King? Yeah, whatever the class, like let's say like Eternal. I, I think he's at, whatever the peak cultivation is at, I think he's at it. Oh, he's like, he's like, like he has a down platform. Yeah. Really? I think he's like right there. You or think like, he's final boss? I think, I think he's one of the final boss. I think it's uh, like close. Because okay, okay, okay. they, they've been throwing hits around everywhere because they even talked about remember how he not gonna lie, if he can lock up Dragon Sovereign then That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. And like obviously he's not working alone, but you're not just gonna be you know, the mm-hmm. face of you're not gonna be the guy that betrays and not be like the top level guy. Yeah, you gotta you know, now that I'm thinking through it, you're probably right. He's probably like He's probably like gonna be ascending to Dao platform yeah. when we like fight him. So I think it goes like he's like the second last final boss. Right. I think like whatever those creatures that they're uh, nurturing, he'll be like I was actually protecting you guys. Yeah. From what be what is beyond the heavens because he's trying to. Like, I feel like he'll try to do a reverse origin institute where he was trying to like take both sides and become the ruler, mm-hmm. but with him out of play, like the other side will be like. Unleashed, and then that might be like the final. Yeah, yeah. it's making me wonder what so- if like if he's becoming a sovereign or, or if the the monk the the gold demon yeah. monkeys or whatever yeah. produce a sovereign. I wonder how that works for humanity. So what they said was that that sovereign guy he got reincarnated because he failed his so- sovereign tribulation originally oh. back when little nine was like. It was like, they basically dropped the history. It was the last three chapters. The, the history between the Nine-Tailed, the Violet Pupil Nine-Tailed Fox. Oh, was that like their enemy that produced the Sovereign? Yeah. But they were originally allies. They betrayed them. Blah, blah, oh, okay. But they, it was a, it went into a bunch into it. And then the Golden Monkeys, the Jin, Jin something, I forget his name. He went through his Sovereign Tribulation. Somebody interrupted him, so he failed. He still, he basically put all the karmic luck of his race. So, answer reincarnation. And they said now he's gonna try to go become a sovereign again. So like it seems like he might be at like oh they're tr- oh they're trying to produce one they haven't produced he hasn't like passed it yet yeah so, oh so he might be at divine Venner level a long time because they're saying he reincarnated oh I see what you mean yeah. so they like, reincarnated and but like a soul I guess it probably has something to do with the soul yeah, yeah. it's like kind of like with the, the nether emperor but like not to that level you know? oh I see what you mean yeah. So he's like reincarnated and he's trying to become like actually I guess just like a long time you can make him. Yeah. But yeah. he remembers his memories yeah. like a long time. Um so that was that was pretty cool. What? The, what? I was gonna say, the other cool thing that really hyped me up, mm. and well I hyped us both up, was mm. now we got another history buff of the nine star heirs. Yeah. So we had a hundred or <coughs> earth cult 
Earth Cauldron, after becoming Longchamp's master, took him to the ancestral home of the Nine Star. Yes. Guys. And we were like, oh, let's go. Yeah. Finally. And he gave us a huge, uh, you know, tidbit. Back to the past. Yeah. And a hundred thousand nine stars mm. stood their ground for millennia mm -hmm. against all odds. No with, reinforcements. Not a single reinforcement. He didn't back down. A thousand years. In those bat they and he said there was over three hundred races that participated in that siege. Yep. Even the humans. That's crazy. He, he you know I'm He dropped names too. Yep. He dropped names. I mean, it was, obviously Longchamp was enra enraged and then, you know, uh, it's, it was just crazy. Like, just, yeah. when he said, like, yeah, 300 races, over 300 races participated, I was like, damn, yeah. this is like, whatever. That was, was epic. That means Brahma was scheming, because clearly he was just like, here's some benefits, here's some benefits. Yeah, he was handing out a little bit yeah. to everybody. But regardless, they did not succeed. Nope. And after that, we got a really cool fight between Long Chen and an old ancient uh, nice genius. Star. Yeah, yeah Nine Star here, who was ranked ninety seven of all Nine Stars back in the day. And then Long Chen was like ninety seven. That doesn't seem that crazy. He was like, yeah, but back then there was millions, billions, trillions of Nine Star heirs, and he was ranked ninety seven across the entire. Nine heavens and ten lands. Like, Main descendant of the nine star lineage. Yeah, and Long Chan was fighting him. He was getting wrecked at the beginning. And then I'd say they tied. Or we call it a win. For Long Chan. I mean, he kind of won. He got on. Uh, I, I'm going to give him a tie because if it was a real person, I think he would have lost. Oh, yeah, because it, it, it was just like a robot. That yeah. That kind of mimicked him. Yeah. But, like, you could tell, like, the way nine stars fight mm -hmm. is so different. Yeah. Like, it's just kind of like, they go for, it's quick. Yeah. It's, oh, it's not super different, like, it's similar to, like, Long Chen style, mm -hmm. like, you just go for the kill. Yeah. But, like, they're vicious, like, they yeah. go for the kill, and it's, like, a whole, like, momentum build up. I like it. I like, where it's like, oh, we didn't kill you already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're building up, and I was just like, that is, you know, that's yeah. what we needed to see. That, so that fight was cool. Um, and so then after that. He got a power up. Well, yeah. he got a like he got like a hidden power up. Yeah. So because basically this was a the nine star grounds and training ground. Yeah, and obviously like I said, they couldn't just there was eight gates. Oh yeah, and it was um if you pass this test, you'll you'll get like some astral energy. Yeah, or you die. Or you die. That's how brutal it was. Yeah. And they couldn't destroy the final gate because they had so much energy mm -hmm. from countless nine stars. All those races together, they still couldn't break it. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, that's crazy. Yep. And then Long Chen got all that energy that yep. was accumulated yep. over all the years. And they said it was, he had stellar spots <coughs> everywhere. Mm -hmm. In his blood, in his bones, mm -hmm. on his meridians. Everywhere. And I was, But they're all dormant. Yep. Because there's not enough energy. I imagine it's going to take quite a bit of energy. Yeah, for sure. And then after that, we get that. Oh, then after that, we get um, the dragon senior's descendant. It seems like maybe not the direct descendant, but it's, he's part of the sovereign clan. Yeah. And he um, he fights Long Chen, and after he like Long Chen gets his acknowledgement, and the not and the Dragon Ball Legion gets his acknowledgement. Yeah, they all got a huge power up, and they basically got sovereign dragon sovereign blood. Yeah, their whole all their blood. Their entire bloodline got purified to like a crazy point. Yeah. And we also, actually Long Chen's bloodline got purified twice because from the White Dragon mm -hmm. Sovereign. Because mm. they apparently have the power to purify people's bloodlines. Yeah. And we saw a cool thing. When he purified his bloodline, there was chains on it. Yeah. So the, the, the Nine Heavens naturally chain the, the dragons. dragons. Yeah. Because they're too powerful. Yeah. And that's why dragons actually have their own, like, kind of world outside of the Nine Heavens. And they only come into the Nine Heavens for their tribulation. Mm -hmm. So it said, so basically, in this in the, ne in the next part of the story, nice, um, Long Chen does his tribulation. 
Yes, this is cool. And so we find out for a tribulation that so it goes green dragons, azure dragons, uh, golden dragons, and scarlet dragons. And when you go from golden to azure, or no, sorry, golden to scarlet, you what what they do is they send out a dragon into the into the nine heavens, and they have to fight a million fiends, I believe. I think no, I think I think it's the other way around. What? I think they send them out of the nine heavens, and they fight and they fight a million fiends of the same level. Yeah, um, and, and they'll become a scarlet, scarlet dragon. dragon because it's like they're enshrouded in the blood of their enemies. I don't think they're in the nine heavens though. I think they just go to like be out the heavens though. Yeah, they, they said they're outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they like, go to they go to like an ancient area. Like yeah. this is like supposed to be like an ancient tradition. Yeah. But then the author's like, but nobody really knows. Yeah. I was like, you just told us, bro. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I'm for real. Hundred uh, percent. And so then, basically, Longchamp Longchamp skills didn't even turn scarlet. They basically turned black because he's killed way more than a million fiends at the same level. Mm-hmm. He's killed billions, and Longchamp was actually pretty happy about it because when he got a scarlet dragon blood armor. All the, the souls that he's killed, they don't go into reincarnation. They go on his armor. So he's like, oh, great. I'll purify the heavens. I'll kill all the bad guys, and they'll just be stuck on my armor. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> that's crazy, yeah. but I love it. Yep. Yeah. And the dragon senior, who was part of the Sovereign Clan, not the dragon sovereign, was like, ah, I see why the dragon sovereign likes this kid. Because <laughs> he has to, Longchamp also has to fight off the will of all of those experts that he's killed that are on his armor. Mm-hmm. And Longchamp's like, the light work. Yeah, I'm not even worried, bro. <laughs> He's like, this is a great buff. Yeah, great buff, for real. Um, what else happened? So let's talk about the actual tribulation. Okay, because they showed up it quick. Hand of the heaven, instantly. Yeah, they first did, thing. Did, didn't even. First thing, did, six fingers. Bah. Yep. Did not even waste any time. Nope. Um, and then after that, what 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 came out right? I think after? right after that came the dragon scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it was. And Long Chen was like. Oh, Oh, you go one on one in the same realm, and then because he thought that was his final, that, like it was just two things. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. And they started fighting, or actually, the dragon senior is like, oh, like let's get rid of the riffraff, like just the random geniuses. And they're starting to get rid of the riffraff, and then the nice star air shows up, mm-hmm. and the dragon senior is like, damn, I overestimated myself. Overestimated myself. <laughs> I'm not the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> And then he gives his energy to Long Chen, yeah. and then they fight. He fights the seven, the nine star. Yeah. It's cool every time nine star yeah. shows up. And then they're thinking, "Oh, this is the final boss." Yeah. And then it goes even crazier. Then the starry sky, the uh, the star. whale, and the the warrior of the starry sky. Yeah, shows up. shows up. He used the whale as a whip. Yeah. And it's not even, he doesn't even fully show up. It's just his hand with the whip. Yeah, That's yeah. just how crazy it is. Yeah. Because I think, like, if he fully showed up, he'd just destroy the thing. And they also said he was cheating. Because he wasn't even at the um, World King realm. He was, like, beyond that. Yeah. And Tribulation is supposed to be at your realm. Yeah. And so then a bunch of geniuses died. Again, another gripe I have is that they didn't tell us the amount of people there before it started. So they started killing tens or hundreds of people and I, that doesn't matter to me because I don't know if there's a thousand a million a billion a trillion <laughs> or 15 you don't tell me so I don't know what a hundred means to me you know like, yeah. yeah and so then that got that happened that was and then we were like oh that's gotta be it yeah. and then boom the earth cauldron pops up and we're just I was just like oh, I was not expecting he's that he's the final boss yeah a hundred percent and I was and Oh, they had him. Had him. He was. He's about to lose. He's about to lose. He was they chained up. Chained up. Um, and basically, you can only resist. So the way the tribulation worked for the Earth Cauldron was that the Earth Cauldron puts chains on you, and you just have to resist until you win. You just have to let the energy dissipate in you while you fight it. Mm-hmm. And there's no other way around it. You can't do anything else. No, and Longchamp was about to lose, but then he had help from yeah. um, Chui, his women. Yep, Chuyao. Uh, Mankey. Mankey, you, Z- what's her name, Zikui, the ice girl. Ice princess. Man, she's got hoed like crazy. Like crazy. Like, Cloud, <laughs> I think. I think Cloud hoed. And then, um, uh, the Zither. It's uh, Z-M? Yeah, yeah, Z-M. And then, um, 
Yeah, all of them helped through the tribulation, so they all so we find out that all of them are already in the ninth heaven. Yep. Which is crazy, right? Yep. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, that ice girl really got hoed. We never see her, bro. We don't talk about her at all. And I ha- and I hate the excuse like, oh, she's an ice girl. She can still talk. Yeah. <laughs> she has feelings, bro. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> One thing that I'm surprised about is that Tang Ki, what's her name? Tang Wanner. Tang Wanner. She's going to be hilarious when they get back together. Like, she's my favorite. She's so funny. Yeah, she's hilarious. Her, her by she, she's going to be hilarious. Yeah. Um, so Lan Chen passes because of their help, and he proceeds to decimate. You forgot. Bro. There's a little thing that happened there. If you want to show up. No, no, he lost consciousness. Long Chan and Long Chan was like, "Hey, I lose cons- I lost consciousness." Oh no, no, that's not right. Before that happened, there was a voice that said, um, "That was annoyed that they interfered." He's like, "Ah, if only you didn't interfere, I, I just need a little bit more time." And then Long Chan said, "I lost consciousness," and the and the Earth Culture was like, "It don't worry, it's fine, it's normal." Mm. And I, I'm pretty sure that was his heart devil trying to take over. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true, really, yes. That was like a little paragraph in there. Yeah. yeah. He snuck that in yeah, there. Yeah, the heart devil, yeah. I, yeah, I, I also is, caught that, yeah. So clearly, the earth cauldron... I don't know, he man. Knows a little sign. He knows something. Mm. He's, he's trying I, to be... I, like, when I saw that, I also thought heart devil, but I just slipped my mind because it was so, like, quick. Yeah, it was a very quick uh, like, it was one point. paragraph. Honestly, oh, this is what I wanted to say earlier about the finding themselves thing. I wanted to say that this should have, like, the the thing with, um, Aunt Gong and the Dean, like, I feel like, obviously, being traumatized by, like, the Marshall Heaven continent makes sense, right? Yeah, for sure. And it should have been slowly built up to, like, now Evil Moon's just, like, you gotta find yourself. That would have made more sense because yeah. it makes the most sense for Evil Moon because he was there. Yeah. Um, and like, because it made sense when Long Chen said like, "Oh yeah, I'm afraid of killing the wrong person with Ang Gong." Yeah. And like helping him be like, "Okay, you don't gotta worry about that." Yeah. And then that like sense. the sweeping elders, just like you know, sometimes. Uh, or he said something about uh, the dust off the mirror, whatever that yeah, yeah. was. And I was just like, yeah, okay. Um, fighting. But then, like, whenever, like, the Dragon Ball Legion's message, like, oh, he hasn't really found himself yet. I'm just like, well, can we get, like, a source for that? Yeah, for real. Like, something. That, like, I wanted him, I wanted the author to say, like, oh, yeah, the Heart Devil. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, like, the Earth Cauldron is just, like, have you ever thought about why, like, you're constantly, like, feeling. Mm-hmm. Like you're, Some sort of source, not just like you not you're not fully yourself, bro. Yeah, because they never say they never mention in a in the scenarios that happen that he's like cowardly, right? Yeah, that's why I'm like, I, there's no like where foreshadowing. Does it, where does it come from? Yeah, like it, even in in the moment is what I'm saying too. Mm-hmm. It's just like when he fought when like up to the uh, gong moment. Yeah. That kind of made. Like some yeah, sense, it didn't make full sense because he wasn't randomly killing people yeah. in the first place. Mm. And all right, and when he did kill people, he wasn't like, should I or should I not? He still was just like, yeah. I think well, after on gone, he started killing races. He didn't care anymore. Yeah, <clears throat> but it, to some extent, it was just like, okay, how the find yourself thing doesn't make sense. You, it just, it, I could understand, like, okay, people grow, and, like, every now and then, you kind of, like, waver. Yeah. But it's happened so much, like, how long is this? No, like, 2,000 chapters? Because that's, because the first uh, couple thousand chapters is just Marshall Heaven. Yeah, 2,800 chapters. 2,800. We are at 47. 47 something. So, like, basically almost 2K chapters. How many times has that guy got to find himself? It's been like six, seven times. Yeah. So very... it doesn't make sense because not enough has happened in those chapters for, yeah. us to, for him to have said this. And random tidbit, we find at the end that I think explains Longchamp's age because you know how we've been talking about his age? Yeah. Like between 30 and 50. 
maybe late thirties. So there's a divine mentor disciple who says he's thirty seven. Oh yeah, yeah. And I feel like he's probably the same generation as Long Chan, so we can like. He's uh, like late. He's mid like thirty seven. So yeah. So I'm thinking Long Chan is like, yeah, thirty five to forty. Mm-hmm. So and like after the martial heaven concert, he was like. I think he was like maybe 30. It hasn't been a lot of years. Mm-hmm. Like, and he has done a lot of stuff. But like still, man, you can't be, you can't lose yourself every, every six months. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, I can, I think it would have been better if he had, <coughs> like when they said, when they said those moments of, oh, are you scared of killing the wrong person? Or are you, you know, constantly looking in, reflecting yourself too much? Yeah. Like maybe if they had if the author had written that yeah. and then that happened and every scene yeah then it's like okay I can understand now mm-hmm. but he never once showed those traits up until and then when they were like oh why are you so scared it was like he didn't look scared for the, like yeah. the last hundred chapters well, like he did the all devil like TM, TMN square like, thing I'm gonna wipe or when he said to the all devil to to, to the all devil race, I'm gonna wipe the all devil race from this world I'm yeah. Like, Nah, he didn't look scared then. Yeah, it sounded incredibly dark. Yeah. Man. It was like a lot of things, and it was just like, that, that was another big thing. They were just like, I feel like they were just saying it's safe. Yeah. And it's like, exactly like you said, they need a source. Yeah. They need either, to write that in. Either source it or show it. Yeah. Show him being scared. Mm-hmm. Show him being anxious. Show mm-hmm. him being like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then be like, oh, well, maybe this heart that will like, uh, like every cultivation novel, everyone says the hard devil is the source of downfalls for everyone. Well, this guy has a living hard devil, so wouldn't it make sense if he's like freaking out? Yeah. But no one's saying anything. Yep. Yep. Um, let's see another important parts. Evil Moon, like we said, Evil Moon is back. But oh, but how he came back? That's yeah. Describe that. Um. So when he died in the Martial Heaven continent. He got pulled into the sword, where she's what he's currently in, and in the sword there was like millions and millions of dragon souls, and so Evil Moon had to compete, and he basically became the number one soul in the in the sword, and because of that he got basically reincarnated into this sword as his item spirit. Now this sword we find it in the dragon nest, right? Yeah, it was being suppressed by the sovereign scale. Scale. And so then when Longchamp picks it up, after a while, Evil Moon like keeps saying like, oh, I'm blood, let's go kill people, I need to kill geniuses. And Longchamp after, it was like, f- like five or six times, he was like, bro, I know you used to like to kill people, but like, this is extra. <laughs> like, you're, like, cause it was like, it was like, this <laughs> was like, this was what I wanted from the author when he talks about Longchamp being cowardly. Yeah. Like the way we saw Evil Moon talking about killing people, like the first two times I thought it was normal. The next three times, I was, like, questioning myself. I was like, this man's a little extra. <laughs> and then Long Chen called it on himself. And, like, so we could see that. But we can't ever see, like, the coward thing. That's just, I wanted to, throw, like, connect that. But then, so, finally, Long Chen asked Evil Moon. He's like, bro, like, what happened? And Evil Moon is basically lets him know that, like, even though I became the primary soul, I need more souls to, like, complete myself. Mm-hmm. And so, basically, he needs to kill a bunch of people to become stronger. And we find out, also... That it seems like the Earth Cauldron has had prior dealings with the sword that Evil Moon is. Either Evil Moon himself or the sword. But we know... F- basically, we can confirm 90% sure that the sword that Long Cheng picks up is a... Um, Primal Chaos item. Is a Primal Chaos item. So, it's it confirms our theory, guys. When we talked about what the Mayhaw Saber died, I think we both called it. That he's not getting more than one more saber. Mm-hmm. We said he had Evil Moon, Mayhawk Saber, and then there was one more saber taking him to the peak. And with Evil Moon back, I cannot see him losing Evil Moon. Nope. So, Evil Moon till we die. Mm-hmm. That was a confirmed. We got that. We don't get a lot of things, but we got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that was, that was a lot of the things we saw. Do we see anything else? Well... Oh, Long Chen got jumped. Him and um, by Zetian. Yeah. He got jumped by uh, the Violet Gold assassins that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, it was kind of a. They killed them off. Yeah, it was kind of bullshit. Yeah. You know they they locked they locked down Long Chen. We were just like, okay, 
Seven Star Battle Armor? It never yeah. happened. No. He, he, they just kind of fought. Evil Moon had a crazy new move. Evil Moon split the Heaven Slash. Yep. Excited for that one. Yep. Didn't kill anyone with it, though, but obviously they killed him off after. Mm -hmm. um, a, new, a new thing is that Baishishi is now not mad at her father anymore. And it used to be... It was funny, because I was wondering when this was going to happen. Because Baishishi oh, was yeah. mad at her dad because he practiced polygamy. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, he was mad at, at his... At his mom... At her mom's. Yeah. For that. And she just didn't like her dad taking advantage of it. Yeah, yeah. and then... She's with Long Chen, who has like 16 wives. Yeah, so she was a... She's like, I went even, I went even further down the path. Yeah, she... <laughs> yeah, that shit had me dying. And I was laughing, so I was like, why are you still mad at your dad? Because you did the same thing, bro. Like, you don't like... Yeah, yeah you, you either gotta call yourself a hypocrite and just stay being mad at him or forgive the man. And the fact that she was so prideful even on that, it hurt me a little bit. Yeah, he, when she was like, should I apologize? He was like, can you do that? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like he, and then her dad was even like, you can't ever let her be wrong. Like, even if she's wrong, you gotta make sure she's right. And then the comments were just like, oh, so that's where it comes yeah. from. Yeah, because her dad spoiled her. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I like, hated that. It's like, she doesn't have to apologize. Yeah. I was like, I did not like This that. is you, bro. This is all your fault. They can have some character development. <laughs> she can learn how to say sorry. <laughs> yeah, for real. Now, by Joel. That was funny. Now, Jack. I understand why he don't like his dad. Yeah, because he... He beats him. Yeah. Twenty four seven. <laughs> Every time he powers up, he's like, "You still ain't shit." <laughs> <laughs> he literally showed up and started wrecking him. Yeah. That was hilarious. Though. Now they honestly spent two chapters hoeing their this guy. Yeah. Because they were just like, "Yeah, so he's a bad temper. He wouldn't be the vice palace master without his wives." Yeah. He messes up plans all the time. Yeah. Actually, that's why we sent him back. So yeah. Couldn't trust him, and he still failed. And then, they them. <laughs> well, like, they, at least they let they say that it's not because of his power. Yeah, it's, it's just because his his brains. I was like, damn, because they were just because he was supposed because he brought back gifts for them and but to you know to make them happy, um, but they were obviously <laughs> not well received. It, it was not well received, and so Long Chan go in there. Be like, Diplomated out. Yep, yeah. and so now they're they're kind of made him happy, and he was just like. Honestly, as long as he knows that his kids like him, there's more than enough. Yeah. You know? The whole family's messed up. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, yeah. They actually do have a lot of problems. <laughs> like, like, the five of them need to sit down and, like, yeah, talk yeah, about it. Yeah, they really do. Like, bro. I'm surprised the moms haven't, like, they're pretty smart. I'm surprised they just haven't sat them. Well, I guess they haven't had time recently. But recently, like, but we, until long Chan showed up, like, come on. They were just chilling in the academy all together. Yeah. Well, yeah, but. I mean, she wasn't ever... My GC wasn't going to change until, like, she had a situation like that. I guess, but by her brother, though... Oh, her brother? Yeah, I guess... That one was just like... That, that could have been fixed. Yeah, that didn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but... You <laughs> they know, did it, like... Let <laughs> me just beat him until yeah. he feels better. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll beat him until he becomes strong enough not to get beaten. I was like, that, that doesn't make any sense, bro. The horrible parenting technique. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want it to be stronger, but like, not the way, man. Not the way. It obviously didn't work. Because it only really, he only really got strong once he met Long Chan. Yeah. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Because there was a lot of chapters. Yeah. A lot of it was trash. A lot. We had good highs. There was like a hundred oh, chapters gross. of filler. Yeah. Like if we read a hundred... Because we, we were originally reading this, it was like 130 chapters. We, yeah. We had to put postpone this like two weeks. Yeah. Because I was sick for two weeks. So we got all this extra stuff, which is good we got it. Because now we're finally hoping... The next time we read it, we're here at ninth heaven. <laughs> Even though we said that last time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're Divine Veterans now. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. Um, we're Heavenly Divine Veterans. Yeah. But instantly, because they were... Because Apparently, nine star um, doyens can instantly become heavenly divine venerates. Yeah. So how they explained it was that the first three stages of doyen, or actually, they just explained it like this: if you're at the seven star or above, you instantly become a heavenly doyen. If you're six and below, you'll probably be an earth, but <clears throat> like not like 
So you won't automatically become heavy and be like an ice fighter or yeah. anything. I didn't know it worked like that. So I was like, does that, does that mean that you instantly become like a ninth stage, like, haven't been divine manner and I'm, but that's not how it works. It's like a classification of divine manner. There's still a first stage. Yeah. And Longshan actually, as of the moment, just hit the first stage of the heaven of my matter around. And it took him about 18 barrels worth of pills. Yeah, let's see how the power scaling works here. <coughs> and I'm sure also, he's been collecting a bunch of plants or herbs for his uh, eighth star. He just hasn't gotten enough of the plants. So I think in the next time we talk about this, he'll probably have started his eighth mm -hmm. star. Hopefully, bro. I need to see this power up go crazy. You know what I think is gonna happen now that I just said that out loud? I think they're gonna hold the Scarlet Battle armor. Oh, because the 8 star? Yeah. Like, he just hit the bottom end, right? And I feel like. He's gonna use the Scarlet Battle armor a lot and then 8 star. I don't even think it's gonna be a lot. I think he's gonna use it like three times and then it's gonna be like not peak anymore. And then he's gonna have to get the 8 star. I think that's how they're gonna do it. In. See, the, my gripe is like, how has they not. Like, it should be stacking. Mm -hmm. Yes! It should be like. Da, 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 da. And like, his power ups are literally the most insane power ups of all time. So, how is anybody else's power ups keeping up? It doesn't make sense! Like, he should always be summoning 7 star battle armor and the Scarlet Blood battle armor. Like, yes. On top of each other. Scarlet Dragon Battle Armor. Like, yeah. Because, like, like, we literally put his the dragon runes in his stars, bro. Mm -hmm. That was the whole point. Yeah. That's oh, one I, other point is that they he combined mm -hmm. all his powers. Like, he can use all of them simultaneously. Oh, yeah, his control is crazy. He can use the dragon armor. He can use his seven star armor. He can use his valid blood power. And what's that fourth bloodline here? Uh, seven color supreme. And the seven color supreme, all four. He can use all four simultaneously. Yeah, they just said he needs a lot of um, energy. Yeah, a lot of resources. So that's why he has to drink so many pills. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably find like a super pill that he can drink less of. Cause, or something that will happen. Because ain't no way he's going to be drinking mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of barrels, barrels of pills. Mm -hmm. Oh, and apparently the <coughs> the Brahma Pill Valley can make um, nine star doyans just like that. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> And then they, they literally, before we even know the next genius level, they were, they said, the Life Hunter race was like, yeah, nine star doings, they're not even worth anything. Yeah, they're not worth yeah. anything this time. I was like, like, no, we didn't even get there, and you already told us they're trying. Bro, for real, I think, like, <laughs> they hyped up doing so hard, and, like, not even just the story, but the fact that the Earth Cauldron was like, oh, we can make nine star doings. With this um, recipe yeah. that's like super incredibly difficult that only you in this world can use to make nice star doyans. Twenty yeah. chapters later, Brahma can do it too, and like that just goes to show that like why is Longshan even worrying about this? Cause some um, whatever like if, whatever equates to Imperian, cause nice star celestials. Right after that, it was an Imperian. So whatever is the equi equivalent to Imperian for nice star doyans. It's gonna come like that. Maybe you'll see like a couple and then they'll come in the hundreds and the thousands and then the millions and then the billions and the trillions. Oh, one last tidbit for the night stars. Yeah. We realized that they were actually way shorter than I thought they were. They were. They, the, the Earth Cauldron said that they were so strong that they actually almost united the nine heavens and ten lands. Yeah. I originally thought like the number one power for humanity. He's yeah, like humanity. Too. Humanity's hedging me because they're strong. Yeah. And but he said no, they were strong to the point where they literally like control the whole universe. The universe. Yeah. I was like, damn. And that and that and that's also why it made more sense that they had like three hundred races like like pouring. And it off makes of them. sense why so many people like if they hear nine star, it's instant death. Because they were the overlords. Yeah. And nobody wants the overlords to return. Yep. Especially when your race was probably one of the races that wiped them out. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you know that if he comes up, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, 100%. So... Yeah, actually, those two guys from... Because there was, a, uh, on like, a, uh, an outer disciple for Brahma. Like, or not outer... It was, like... 
Whatever. Concrete disciple, whatever they call him. Yeah, whatever the trash disciples are. Like One the, of 3,000. Yeah, well, and him and like another Fallen Daylight disciple. Oh, we finally met a Fallen Daylight disciple. We never won. Yes, yeah, for real. And they revealed to us, they were terrified because they were just like, if a nine star appears in your tribulation, you're dead. Yep. No one survives a nine star tribulation. Mm. Not a single one of Brahma's uh, disciples. Yeah. yeah. This is like, GG's for you, buddy. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh! This last thing. They, when he was making the pills. Yeah. In the Earth, Earth Cauldron world. Oh, uh, he's making nine ninety nine now? Yeah. Well, no. It, when he said he showed us the rise and fall of, like, of a uh, universe. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were saying like, oh, how he controlled the heavenly down. Yeah. Like, but then when he stopped controlling it, it like the situation like changed. Yeah. And so that was <coughs> the Earth Cauldron alluding to that so that the heavenly Tao isn't Control. targeting Long Chen. It could just be someone controlling, controlling it the yeah. way he is to target and like. Long, maybe it's not Long Chen, but nine stars. nine stars. I agree with that. Yeah, that was. So I was like, so it it kind of is crazy because it could make Long Chen, um, obviously change his viewpoint on the heavens, but maybe it makes him like figure out a way to be like, well, how do we help the heavens? Something like mm -hmm. that. Because that would be a crazy. That's a crazy turnaround. That would be because he like, wants to destroy that. Yeah, he was uh, chapter like. 300. I'm gonna overturn this damn heaven. Yeah. Immortal world. Yeah. And now it's just like, when he showed us that, I was like, that's a crazy, like, that was the, probably the best explanation could have gotten. Yeah, yeah. But I was just like, damn. And then he even told us, like, for all the pills, the pills were fighting each other to become stronger. Mm -hmm. And there were even some pills that weren't fighting. <clears throat> I was like, are these pills, why are they not fighting? Like, that's crazy, like, spirituality. He said, regardless of what happened, everyone got pulled into the conflict. Mm -hmm. I was like, so that's literally what's happening right yeah. now. So someone's controlling it. And I saw someone in the comments say, like, what if, like, the nine, someone's, like, trying to refine, like, the nine heavens and ten earth, like, a, like a, a pill. What? That'd be ridiculous. I mean, the earth culture has its own world. Someone could be doing something. That's crazy. Well, yeah. Nine heavens, ten lands. Got a lot of theories going Scheming on here. Scheming is deep. Sovereign heaven. We also find out is only 10% populated. The other 90% is wilderness. Covered and scars. By, and scars are covered by like demons or um, devils that yeah. are from beyond the heavens. So Hopefully a lot of battles next start. Yeah. Honestly, also some... some yeah. Okay. Some, some history and stuff. We also got some armor. For the divine, for the Dragon Ball Legion, that are same weapons that are gonna be trash in about twenty chapters, but it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the Dragon Ball Legion's been showing out. No, yeah, they always show. Out. Oh, one little tidbit that was important: that during the, his um Long Chest Tribulation, not only did his women help 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 him out, that one guy from the calligraphy sect. Oh, he helped out. He too. helped him out too, and Long Chest was like, "Oh, this guy." I this guy for like 15 minutes. <laughs> but I appreciate you. So, yeah. calligraphy sex is going to be important. Yeah. He, he helped out in the time of need. So, that will be something to keep your eye on. Um, other than that, that was that was nice start. We weeded it out for you guys. We did. Because there was some stuff in there you didn't want to see. Nope. Alright, uh, you didn't want to see. <laughs> but, uh, it was still good. It was yeah, still it was good. good. He just, the author needs to... Stop. Like... Come up with something new. Right? Yeah, if you can't. I just if you just bring the war arc already if you can't. Yeah. You else. Yeah, just start the, early. the filler is crazy. Just start it early, you know. I'm sure the High Firm Academy has some <clears throat> has some backup. If they don't, just write it in. Yeah. One well, other thing they said is that the the higher ups like Long Chess now is a environment. He's like I still can't see the realm of like the higher ups. So like, what realm are they at? Oh yeah, because his. Why she's his father is the Sage King now. Yeah, he's a Sage King. I was like, okay, so they're clearly it's a sealed cultivation type. But how deep are they sealed, bro? <laughs> deep, bro. And so like <laughs> they must because Sage King after Sage King is clearly something crazy. I'm telling you now, bro. 
I'm coming here and I'm talking shit all day, every day. If we get another fodder round after Sage King, and I feel it's <laughs> happening now with these log people, and I, I'm talking shit all day that day. I'm not gonna say one good thing. I'm saying all. I'm being negative that whole day, all day, bro. Cause I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I said it when we first saw like, Turtles. I'm like, I can't keep doing this anymore after this from. <laughs> no, we got a Turtles. Because you know how I would be up. Like, at this point, we're at the ninth heaven. I understand because Sage Kings were already kind of like cabbages. Yeah. At the ninth heaven, there's going to be one more round that's going to be cabbage, probably. Hopefully not. And like, but like after that, where else are you going to go to find more cabbages? That's it. That's the nine heavens and ten lands. Obviously, it's beyond the heavens, but they shouldn't be... No, that shouldn't be a factor in... The power level. No, yeah, like, they should be the same power Equal, level. Equal, yeah. So, like, this is it, Arthur. This is your last chance for redemption. <laughs> um, Please. Um, I'm talking Please. a lot of shit. <laughs> like, I get... Like, I saw the raw chapters, bro. There's, like... Did you really? Like, I haven't read it, but I saw there's, like, 5,700. Okay. So, that's another thousand from now. Okay. Is it ended? Did it end? No. Okay, okay. But I'm just saying that I better not see, like, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the next round was, like, Super Sage King or something. Like, yeah. I don't want Super Sage King to have cabbages. Uh, yeah, no. No, thank you. And the Sovereign better be the final level. And I do, if I see Sovereign Cabbage, I'm dropping the novel. Yo, bro, <laughs> we might not get to the end. We might get to the end on principle, but we're coming here every time we're talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, guys, and shit. We're telling you about how shit it is just because just we have to. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not loving this yeah. no more. Oh, God. But, yeah. That's nice. Our next week, Beyond the Timescape, will always be fire. Yeah. Has never disappointed us. <laughs> Not yet. And, not once. And I think I read, I read the first ten chapters and it's not. It's it's good. And I and I We're have hitting. the notebook. I have the notebook. We're hitting. I have the notebook, guys. I'm bringing it in next week. Yeah, we got. Cannot miss a single detail because once the uh, the payoff comes on yeah. comes out, then everyone just says like, "Oh yeah, I knew that." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those hands, <laughs> huh? You threw all those hands. Well, yeah. What is it? Um, the the they always say hindsight is twenty twenty. There's another one they say that's like. I don't know if there's. There's another there. one they say in Wuxia World novels specifically. Oh. Like, yeah, I have no idea. Um. Yeah, but basically, I I want to see if I can catch them now. All right, I'm I'm running down those. We're getting some Captain lore, which is good. I like that. Yeah, I love Captain lore. Oh yeah, this has been episode 58 of Light Off Face Podcast. This has been Adamar. Peace, Gamer. Peace. Peace.